I don't know where this is, but we know that it's somewhere in the countryside. Cayman as Park is there if you want to see a little horse racing. But I feel like you would find more joy in a place like this. You would certainly enjoy yourself a lot more. But then again, everybody of them own liking, so maybe it is not for everyone. Let us kick off the report though. Nation the entertainment feed community. What go on? Where they are on the Tuesday of Vibes Tuesdays. Community members, hope the day has been a good one for you. Where they are once again with the ENT News, their topics, the updates. Let's not waste another second on to the topics. We are continuing with the racing though. Remember this guy? He went viral a week back for his video criticizing BMW and Mercedes cars, stating that he's willing to put up 2 million GMD for anyone with a BMW or a Mercedes Benz that can beat his Lexus. <laughs> Now I come on in China, black Benz and BMW. I talk about bees. And now I know we have BMW and Benz can run with left this. I give you two million dollars right now. Race him want, race him get. No, I make him do the first run first, and then we can, we can. Me, 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 go, me drive, me drive it after. I guess him decided not to put up the two mil and say, you know what, let's race for a hundred thousand. Still, nice way to win a hundred. <laughs> nice way to win a hundred grand. Dance hall artist Aishana. In the previous report, we stated that Aishana got quite a bit of backlash for her outfit that she wore to the Sashi event. <laughs> Hi, Shana reacting to the backlash, reacting to the people who criticized her for her outfits. She took to her Instagram stories where she responded to her critics. She shared this picture with the caption below stating, To the people mad at me for wearing a bathing suit. I was performing at a beach event. What was I to wear? She also stated that the people should come laba juice her. We all know what laba juice means. Something similar to suck this or suck that, you know. Hi, Shana basically uh, tell the people them come suck her out. In another post, she stated, I don't give a F about no opinions. She went on to tell the people them to come nyamar like chichi. Nyamar dung like chichi. I guess that is clarification for those who never understand what she meant by come lava juicer. Then she finished up with another post stating, One thing the maga do, a text set upon me. I never know my sing with the grace thrillers. People were expecting Futa Hype to react to Aishana's outfit. But the selector didn't. As a matter of fact, look at this comment. I don't know what to think of it. Here is a person here. Can't believe Futa slapped this multiple time. Sad face. Another user replying to that person stating, Imagine scatter. Can't me get my money. I'm gonna get paid in full. So pull up back that. Talk no man. More on Futa hype though. Futa hype shared this video of a recent performance from dance and artist Busy Signal. Futa hype shared the video with the caption stating, Exceptional performance from Busy Signal at City Splash Fest. 30,000 in the rain and them still shell it. That's not easy for do. Oh, 
Valiant speaking on the old style of dance hall, the new style of dance hall, new days artists, veteran artists. The younger generation have a different ears to music now, so we're, yeah. we're singing what the younger generation wants to hear now. So we're just carrying on what they did, but in a different time zone. So we're repeating what they did, but in a different time zone. Yeah, the legacy continues, man. Yeah. Talking about the veterans though. Queen Africa and the sprint legend Usain Bolt are now working on their first project together. We know that Usain Bolt and Entertainer, of course, not about Usain Bolt's record label. Queen Africa and Entertainer will be recording for Usain Bolt. So we ready now for changes. My auntie said, go for road pure bills. We are gonna make it with your will. Got to keep moving, see, don't fail me now. Nation, over to other news. Popular footballer killed in Kingston home invasion. A popular footballer was shot dead and another injured when gunmen invaded a home on Water Street in Denham Town, West Kingston, Tuesday morning. The dead man has been identified as a former Boyston player, 40 year old Rafiq Thomas. The injured man has been hospitalized. <laughs> Still Nation, condolences to the family and friends of Rafiq Thomas. In other news, spectators disappointed that Jamaica will not host any T20 World Cup games. Wood and water over the weekend following a two-year hiatus. The West Indies hammered South Africa, albeit depleted 3-0 in the T20 series, a first series win at home against the visitors in that format. Even with the return, the majority of fans are not satisfied with the minuscule servings given that a World Cup is five days away and Sabina Park will not set up a stump. Well, I think this is a great start. I mean, the government can't help but miss this. They're looking around and seeing thousands of people in Sabina Park for the first time in years. Uh, they, they can't hesitate. They can't miss this. So this is an opportunity for them to realize that People want a sporting activity to watch. People want to watch cricket in Jamaica. I'm, I'm on the ground. I'm not surprised that people want to see cricket. They want to see their stars. It's their favorite pastime. It's a national sport. And there is still a feeling that the government and the Jamaica Cricket Association missed the train where the world would come to Jamaica. Again, it proves that we should have been hosting World Cup. Um, um, the, the, the government missed the opportunity. It is well, I think the government actually see what going on because Andrew Olness was in the stands in private box, of course, but he was there with the likes of the Honorable PJ Patterson. The Prime Minister shared those clips with the caption stating, I had a wonderful opportunity to catch up with former Prime Minister PJ Patterson at the recent T20 cricket series between the West Indies and South Africa. Former Prime Minister PJ Patterson is an avid cricket fan and historian of the sport. However, you can imagine that cricket was not the only subject we spoke about. We discussed a range of topics from federation and the constitution to independence and the present day. Our conversation flowed seamlessly with enthusiastic shouts of six. And the game I don't want to disturb. And just that alone, the Prime Minister also shared this clip. You see what going on? He shared that clip with the caption stating, The most honorable Edward Philip George Siaga gave himself unreservedly to improve the lives of the people of Jamaica. He was a very visionary leader, a preserver of our culture, a lover of our people, and a builder of institutions that became cornerstones of our society and whose legacy we continue to enjoy today. Mr. Siaga was a man of the people. He felt their pain and labor for their improvement. His leadership came at a great personal sacrifice, yet he never left the people's side. Jamaica today recognizes the depth of love and deep commitment that Mr. Siaga had. In one of his many interviews about the people, he said I want them to know that I feel for them in their struggles and I'm always thinking of them. Today we celebrate the 94th anniversary of the birth of our beloved Prime Minister, the most honorable Edward Siaga, Owen PC. This video reflects his final day in Parliament after a lifetime of leadership, dedication and love. Opposition leader and the People's National Party President Mark Golden clears the air in a video showcasing his passports throughout the years amidst the dual citizenship scandal. This is Mark Golding, President of the People's National Party and Leader of the Opposition. I was born in Jamaica. I grew in Jamaica. I have only ever worked in Jamaica 
and I'm not leaving Jamaica, land we love. And I can tell you, I am not one of the illicit six. And my statutory declarations to the Integrity Commission have been certified and published for all years through to and including 2022. And my declaration for 2023 was filed in time by the March deadline in accordance with the law. God bless you all. The entertainment feed community. That right for now. You see what time o'clock. You see what time o'clock. Are you get the f*** out of here? And as usual, my people. Hey. 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 Hey.